Hello and welcome to South Asia Focus. I am Smita Prakash. India successfully concluded its mammoth general election to elect its 16th parliament from 543 constituencies. After a two-year term in office, the UPA coalition, led by the Congress party, was resoundingly defeated by the BJP, which won with a clear majority of 282 seats, 10 more than the required number, to form a government without needing the support of partners. Here's a report on the largest democratic exercise in the world. Mr. Modi's landslide win is the most decisive election victory India has seen in the last 30 years. Celebrations broke out at BJP offices across the country, where supporters and party workers danced, burst crackers and distributed sweets. Even the stock markets welcomed his win by the Sensex and Nifty reaching to record heights. The BJP-led National Democratic Alliance won 335 seats, while the Congress-led United Progressive Alliance was reduced to 59 seats, their worst ever, with other regional parties winning the rest of the 149 seats. Narendra Modi, the 63-year-old son of a backward Hindu caste tea seller who rose from the ranks to become Chief Minister of India's Gujarat province for three terms, despite the taint of not doing enough to stop communal riots which happened under his rule, survived all odds to win this resounding victory for his party. Modi reinvented himself into an aspiring statesman, stressing on Gujarat's economic development model as a perfect example to replicate for the future of India. Ever since he was named as BJP's Prime Minister candidate last September, Modi has flown nearly 300,000 kilometres and addressed a gruelling 457 rallies in a never-before-seen presidential-style campaign. Addressing the people after the victory in Ahmedabad city, Modi said he would take every citizen on the journey of development and that he needed just 10 years to put India in the driver's seat for high-speed growth. That would mean that Modi sees himself as a two-term prime minister in the least. Development के मुद्दे पर वोट दिया है हमारे देश में यह माना जाता था कि विकास के मुद्दे पर चुनाव नहीं लड़ा जा सकता Modi stood for election from two constituencies both of which he won with a clear majority in Vadodara, where he won with a record margin, he reminded people of the sacrifices made by martyrs who laid down their lives in the freedom movement and that Indians of today need to learn from their sacrifices. <laughs> Since Modi took over, Gujarat has led the nation in GDP growth. It accounts for 16% of the industrial output and 22% of exports. Now comes the task of the PM designate to replicate the success in the rest of the country. Narendra Modi's modern and tech-savvy election campaign virtually met no match in his rival Rahul Gandhi, the 43-year-old Nehru Gandhi family scion from the Congress party. The Congress fell to its worst-ever result after 10 years in office, overshadowed by a struggling economy and major corruption charges. More than anything else, the election result raises question marks on the Congress's future and Mr Gandhi's leadership skills.
Rahul Gandhi, along with his mother, Congress Party President Sonia Gandhi, took full responsibility for the party's massive defeat. They, however, did not say what the party's future plan of action would be. From my part, uh, Congress Party has uh, done pretty badly. Uh, there's a lot for us to think about. Uh, and as Vice President of the party, I hold myself responsible for what has happened. So I wish the new Rahul Gandhi, while congratulating the new government, also party, admitted to the fact that the Congress had performed Congress much below expectations. The 43-year-old Rahul Gandhi, who led the Congress campaign, managed to win his own seat of Amethi in Uttar Pradesh state, but with a significantly lower margin as compared to the 2009 general elections. Rahul Gandhi has been criticized in the past for being a reluctant leader, someone who virtually disappears from the political scene at regular intervals and has failed to establish a connect with the people, especially the youth, though he's much younger than his rival Narendra Modi. Demands within the Congress are likely to get stronger for a bigger role for his sister Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, who's considered the more charismatic and articulate sibling. She had recently campaigned aggressively in Amethi for her brother. However, she has no administrative experience, nor has she joined active politics, remaining in the shadows of her mother and brother. Congress leaders, though, have sought to defend Rahul Gandhi, saying that they were collectively responsible for the debacle and that they would be introspection over the results. Party leader Rajiv Shukla said the results were certainly not in their favour and that it was up to the Gandhi family to decide the future course of action. We were not able to do this, but the people who have given us the decision, we will do it with the whole number of people. Because it is their decision. Meanwhile, India's outgoing Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, who has often been blamed of being too silent and at times being directed by Ms. Sonia Gandhi, made a terse and short address to the nation. The two-term Prime Minister did not thank his party, but the people of India, for the respect, love and affection bestowed on him. Each one of us should respect the judgment that you have delivered. The just concluded elections have deepened the foundations of our I am confident about the future of India. I firmly believe that the emergence of India as a major powerhouse of the evolving global economy is an idea whose time has come. In the last 10 years, we as a country have seen many successes and achievements that we should be proud of. Today, India is a far stronger country in every respect than it was a decade ago. I give credit for these successes to all of you. Dr. Singh also extended best wishes to the incoming government and congratulated Mr. Modi and the BJP on an emphatic win. Congratulations also poured in for Mr. Modi from around the world, with the heads of states of the USA, Canada, UK, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Israel and others wishing him on his victory. Press Secretary to the White House, Jay Carney, said that President Obama wished Mr. Modi on his win and that Modi was welcome to the USA. The American policy for last many years has been to deny Modi a visa for his questionable role in the 2002 Gujarat riots. But now, as Carney said, President Obama uh, wanted to reach out Senate to Modi. Active. First of all, we congratulate uh, India and, and the people of uh, India on uh, an historic national election which saw more voters cast their ballots freely and fairly uh, than in any election in human history. We congratulate uh, Narendra Modi and the BJP on winning a majority of seats in this historic election. Once the government is formed, we look forward to working closely with the Prime Minister and the Cabinet to advance our strong bilateral relationship based on shared democratic values. Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and Sri Lankan Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha also called up and congratulated Mr. Modi and extended invitations to him. 
With India's economy going through its worst slowdown and fighting high inflation, it will be an extremely difficult task for Narendra Modi to immediately fulfill all the hopes of millions of Indians who have voted for him, thinking he will magically transform the country into an economic superpower. Herein lies his biggest challenge. More on that in the coming episodes. Thank you for watching South Asia Focus.